Hello and welcome to a transit called Turtle. I have been to Wix. For all the stuff I need, I think it's time we make our bed. <laughs> quite a bit today. This morning has been a combination of theory and actually doing stuff. So what we have been doing is starting to make our bed frame. So this is what it looks like right now. I know it's not much but it will get better. We have measured out these sections sections, those sections, gonna now use a pointy stick, these sections, this section, and this section. We have also marked it out using masking tape, as you can see, to make sure that what we're doing is correct. This section of bed is gonna slide out to fill this gap. Right down to here, like that. So for that reason we're trying to work out how to make a sliding bed that has loads of panels, half of which slide out on battens that meet there. And it's all been a bit complicated. <laughs> We've done a lot all morning. We have just been trying to work out the maths of how it's actually going to work and if it's going to meet and if it's not and why it's been more thinking than I ever want to do I prefer just to crack on and do stuff but luckily Robbie is a bit more steady Eddie and actually makes sure we get the job done so that's good I will let you know So we have bought all the stuff we need and on reflection where I thought that the seat of the chair was going is a little bit high. Dad says that my legs are going to be um, dangling and I don't really, <laughs> it's not what we want is it Dad? No. No. Nine. Nine. So um, we are going to take the cladding down a little bit, a um, little bit further, we're not taking it off, we're not moving it, we're just adding another little bit and then we are also going to add some battens to the bottom so that we can attach what so we can attach the ply that we've got to the wall where the back of the sofa is going to be yay
the end of the day and I'm doing my end of the day um, checklisting and I thought I'd show you guys um, my process of that. This, this is my whiteboard of truth. So this is what we've done for the frames and it's just got a long list of all the things that we are doing. <laughs> so yeah. Hello out there! <laughs> These are all the bits that we've been measuring and we have given them all a name haven't we Bobby? Yeah. For example? Thelma. What inspired that? Oh, jinkies. <laughs> we have constructed the base now, as you can see here, and we are also making the box go around our wheel hub at the same time. So now that we have measured that all out, whoops, sorry. Now that we have measured all that out, we've pocket hole jigged it all together and we are now going to make our uprights, which is going to come up like this. Whee! And then hopefully we can finish today by making a box and that'd be great. Okay, we have made the box that is going around the wheel hub and now we are going to make the 3D box that is going to be around the sofa area. I've put this on top, this piece of wood, on top of here in the thoughts that maybe then it can add like an extra support for the slats that are going to go across. I'm pretty certain that Dad's going to come back and tell me that that's wrong uh, and it may be that it has to go in here instead of on top so uh, we'll see what happens but um, hopefully this is good. Yay! Okay and we are there. So the slats of the bed, let's see if I can show you, I'm going to go across like this, where the ruler is, obviously not sticking out, stop about there. And uh, they'll go all the way along the top, get supported, hopefully in the middle by this, dad doesn't tell me otherwise, and yeah, that's, that's the bed. I'm going to make one more piece to go in the middle here as like support because you don't want to put all your weight there and it breaks that wouldn't be fun so yeah put some support in there and then cover it in um, in some of the ply which is just down there which is what the van came in um, we're hoping to be able to paint that white and just cover these areas so that it looks a bit nicer and then we're hoping to have two doors there and there that's where they will be um, that flap down so we can actually access the storage there we go. Lush. Is it autumn now? Oh, it's so wet. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, we're emptying the van because we need to go buy more wood. Ooh, <laughs> look at that! Which uh, you can see the gaping hole of Truth. eight slats. So we need more wood. More wood. Amazing. <laughs> along now we are only a few slats away from completing our sliding bed and I thought that I'd show you what we've done so far Ta -da! we have made a box around our wheel hub we have made 
We've attached this to a framework and we have painted it white-ish. 173.5 on one side, 174.5 on the other, so should we just go 174? Round up. What are we doing, Bobby? We're attempting to get some custom-made mattresses to be our sofa by day, bed by night. We've done some maths. It's been excruciating because the ideal thing doesn't quite actually fit in the van, so we're having to do stuff. Oh no, I can't pick it up. This is going to be swish. This is what it's going to eventually look like, probably, while it's in bed formation. That's a rear to one of the uh, sofas. And the bit in the middle will be during the day, the rear, I think back is the word I meant to say rather than rear, but we're sticking with rear now. The rear to you know, the sofa, and we'll take that down and put it in the middle during the day. Lovely. Today has been a super special day today, um, partially because of the van and partially because of family. My nan has just returned home from the hospital. Yay! Well, well, welcome home, nan. We hope that you're um, you're feeling better, and I hope that you're watching this and you're all snuggy in your cosy bed. And um, yeah, good job, girl, for getting home. Pwah. In other news, today also that has arrived home are our mattresses and I will show them I will show them to you now <laughs> here they are I will put the link of the company that gave them to us that, that sold these to us in um, the description below I think these guys are absolutely fantastic and they do cut mattresses so all of these they gave us like four separate mattresses and they're all the exact shape that we need and I've covered them with a blanket because I've been doing the carpeting on the door. Honestly guys, big things changing and it's really exciting. Um, but yeah, so we went online, we ordered all four separate mattresses and they all came today and they're pristine and beautiful and we love them already. We're going to get one of our friends who's a seamstress to make the covers. It's not just going to stay <laughs> with blankets on the top. This is far too white for us. Um, there's no way it would stay that clean. Um, you know, we've got mates of dogs and everything. So, uh, yeah, we need to make sure that it is life proof. But, yeah, I just thought I'd show them to you because they're absolutely stunning. And also, the bed is completely done. I'm not going to be able to pull it out with one hand because um, it is a bit stiff. But I'm quite happy with it. So... There you go, underneath. Ooh. So it's looking fantastic. I'm super duper happy with it. And um, yeah, that's it really. But watch this space, big things are changing. Yay!